All right, y'all, real quick now, I'm going to tell y'all about this $15,000 bill I got right here, right? You know, even though we, we are in these uh, rough times with trucking, right, with fuel prices, with rates, you know, we all know what it is. Uh, we still have breakdowns, right? You still have to pay for breakdowns, right? So I had to get a camshaft replaced. I had to get some injectors redone on uh, on one of my rigs, right? And here's the thing, my mechanic could not tackle this job, right? This was a little bit too much for him uh, at the time, right? He could have got it done, but uh, timing was of, of an essence, really. He wasn't going to get it done in a time uh, that I really needed it done in. And because he don't really have the shop that I needed, uh, that well, that he needed to fix this, right? So sometimes you have to use other means, right? If your mechanic can't get, get done what you need done, right? So... This one here, I end up going to the dealer, right? I had to go to the dealership on this. And uh, so I did pay a lot higher than I normally pay to get uh, uh, my, my work done. But uh, that's just what it is, right? You know, whether market good is bad, you have to have the money put up. You have to be prepared for breakdowns. I know a few people that's gone out of business uh, for the very thing that I just uh, uh, paid for, right? I just got this truck out of shop this morning and uh, the truck is ready to go now. But when you have um, a small fleet and you don't really have a lot of spare trucks, right? Because most time if you're a small fleet, you know, the guy in the truck needs that truck, right? So if he has to eat, right, you don't really have time to think about, you know, whether you're going to fix the truck or not, right? You have to do what you have to do to keep these trucks on the road. So that's what I did. Uh, we're back up. But uh, these are just some of the things that you were running to out here. Uh, like and subscribe um, and uh, peace, y'all.